Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a wonderful plugin that uh, I found online that helps you uh, read your PHP error logs and then uh, in, it will style them beautifully and then you can be able to filter out and and choose to focus on maybe uh, what errors you're having in your development time and then uh, you can be able to figure out a couple of errors that you do have. So like right now I have this couple of errors and this plugin is actually something that I picked up from uh, a developer who's called uh, CodePotent, you can find him on codepotent.com and he has this particular plugin that you can use in your classic press and it makes everything work out nicely. So I've been developing a, a small plugin for a friend of mine who does some loan shark business and he wanted something that's web based and very simple. So I decided to use a classic press for this. And while I was developing, um, I landed into some trouble before this plugin actually helped me figure this out. So what was happening is that my plugin would break whenever I try to bring in my client. So whenever I would uh, find out, uh, I would look at what's happening. So the thought process is that when he, whenever he creates a client here, uh, this is a custom post type, for example I have these three clients in here that are here and then when he goes to create a new loan or add a new loan he should be able to filter out the different clients and just attach a name from the clients have, that have been made here. However now my part is broken so I my metabox, this is a metabox that I'm using so when I go back to my code here, uh, in this particular, this is how I call the client name, it's a class. I'm using object-oriented programming and so I, I namespaced everything well. Uh, I run my class of register which is more like my construct. I don't have any particular values that I'm loading, I'm not loading uh, any, any particular value so I didn't need to use the construct so I use the register method. And when I look at my query here, it's actually perfect because I have the arguments that I need. I call this class called a new WP query where I pass in the arguments and I choose to, whenever I have any post there, I am able to query out an option and I'm able to, to find out what's happening. So my only challenge here is now I'm not getting this information. So what's wrong? So what happens is um, I just I just need to go to my plugins and then uh, I'll use this plugin uh, from CodePotent and I'll actually find out it will tell me that I'm having a PHP error. This is picking from my server's error log and I'll find that this particular class WP query is actually not found in my particular plugin in this, so I need to go and view line 38 in this particular client name. So line 38 for me is this and actually it's checking out this variable where I'm storing the new WP query. So meaning if this class is missing, an object oriented program it simply means I have not uh, called it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, this is a global class in WordPress or classic press. I'm going to use the WP query and then I'll just terminate this. When I save this and go back into my plugin and then choose to go to my launch and then uh, I edit my particular plugin, my particular custom post type, I actually find that I, I have the different people so if I want I can update this and save this. And it will save this information and it's working very well. If I choose to go back to see all the loans, actually I'll see that uh, the borrower's name has actually changed here. So I'm good to go. Uh, and it's all thanks to this wonderful plugin that's helping me view my, my errors in here. So the other good thing about uh, this particular plugin is that it can help you actually clean out your error and log if you've found that you've finished cleaning out your er errors. You can actually just click the purge the error log. 
And what it's going to do is that it's going to print it out all to zero. So you see, I don't have any errors. So I am able to track data development with my plugin or theme development, and I am able to, to see what's going on in uh, my server's error log. So very good plugin. I'd advise you to go to codepotent.com. Uh, he has quite a number of amazing articles and plugins. But for me, this was really a huge challenge. It took me over an hour to figure out that I had actually missed uh, adding this class into my plugin. And it was only after I downloaded that plugin and checked the errors that I was able to see my mistake. So visually, very hopeful. It will help you solve so many problems. So check it out. Uh, keep logged in for any other small tricks that I'll find out. Um, Enjoy your coding.